hi guys i'm back with a new video and today's video i'm going to be showing you how i lay my wigs flat and this time i'm using a short straight bob so first thing first i'm starting by taking my measuring tape measuring where my elastic band is gonna sit and i got about 11 inches and the elastic band that i use i got them from aliexpress i will link them in the description box below so i'm just measuring the 11 inch that i got and i also minus four inches out of it so that it fits my head perfectly so now i'm starting to stitch it on my lace front wig so where i'm stitching it now is exactly where the wig cap was gonna be so you should make sure that your stitching is tight enough but make sure you don't pull it too much because you might end up tearing your lace So I'm doing the same stitching on the other side of the lace wig, making sure it's on the same level and it matches the other one. And then as for my hair, I did some African threading. I will link the video in the description box below on how I do this. And what I'm doing now, I'm just putting on my wig cap. I like the mesh ones because they are breathable and it's easy to access your scalp if you're itchy. And then now I'm taking my face powder and I'm just applying a little bit in front where the lace is going to sit. Just so that it looks more natural. So I went ahead and cut out the excess lace on the wig and I added a clip at the back just to make it more secure. And now is the time to put on the wig. First thing that I'm putting on is the elastic band making sure it's sitting properly. And then I'm also securing that clip that I showed you guys making sure it sits properly and it's like laid flat. And as you can see it's laying flat there are no bumps and lumps you can put it wherever you want. And now moving to my sides, I'm going to cut out that excess lace on the sides of my wig. So first I like to separate and make sure I have a clean line. You want to make sure you're not cutting out the hair and also do not cut your ear. And once I'm done, I'm doing the same thing on the opposite side. And then that's it. You can actually leave it like that, but I like to do the baby hair. And now I'm taking my Revlon gel. First, I'm going to apply it on my sides to take them down.
and then once i'm done with my sides i'm moving to my baby hair so first i like to separate the hair just a little bit of hair not too much and then to cut them out i am using a razor blade and also i switch in between a razor blade and scissors And then once I'm done trimming before I move to another section, I go ahead and apply my gel to lay them down and then take my toothbrush which I have for my hair and just swoop them nicely. And then I'm just going to continue doing the same thing for my entire hairline. And then now I'm taking my blow dryer and I'm drying my entire hairline and I'm also going to blow dry my whole wig. And I'm taking my straightener, I'm just going to run it through my hair and mostly just bumping the ends. I'm not really doing much.
and now as for the parting i'm just sectioning the hair that i'm going to pull out and for this part you can use tweezers but i find that pulling them by hand is much quicker and easier so i'm just pulling out the hair on the part that i don't want to widen it up And then once I'm done pulling out the hair, I'm taking my concealer, this is an LAG concealer and I'm just taking an eyeshadow brush and I'm applying the concealer on the part just to make it more visible. And that's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!